Did OpenAI's website actually go bonkers? Or did someone just publish his her aspirations and took the whole internet by storm? Has OpenAI come up with a new GPT model? What is the truth? Let's find out. Recently, there has been speculation about the potential release of GPT 4.5, with some suggesting that it may have been launched discreetly four days back. In this discussion, I'll elaborate on what this debate implies and present reasons why it's highly probable that GPT 4.5 has indeed been released, even though there may be a reluctance to officially acknowledge it. The screenshot currently displayed on your screen leaked a few days back. It's an open AI webpage that says GPT 4.5, GPT 4.564K, and GPT 4.5 with audio and speech capabilities. While I initially had some reservations about the authenticity of the aforementioned screenshot, now I believe it is 100% false for several reasons. If this screenshot was authentic, a public release would probably have occurred by now. However, it's worth noting that something was indeed released. Was it GPT 4.5? No, but I truly think it has been stealth released. Here is some evidence. But before that, let me tell you what stealth release actually means. This term refers to the discrete introduction of a model without an official announcement. Essentially, it involves unveiling a beta test without changing the model's name outright. Instead of a new iteration like GPT-4, they opt for an upgrade to GPT-4.5, monitoring user interactions, collecting feedback, and subsequently considering an official release. While I was conducting my research on this topic, I encountered a tweet by Ethan McKay, a reliable source known for frequent AI-related updates and system comparisons. Notably, he observed a shift in GPT-4's performance. After weeks of being unreliable and lackluster, it suddenly exhibited significant improvement. Ethan Memkay shared an interaction where he initially asked chat GPT-4 to create files, to which it insisted it couldn't. However, upon encouragement, it successfully completed the task, signaling a marked enhancement in its capabilities. Other tweets echoed similar sentiments, describing the system as notably proficient and swift, almost resembling a more capable platform. Now, why why am I mentioning Ethan McKay? Well, because his credibility stems from his extensive testing to providing insight into the nuances and differences among various systems through daily use. Contrary to the claim that GPT 4.5 hadn't been released, some argue that Sam Altman, when asked about the legitimacy of a GPT 4.5 leak, explicitly denied it. I mean, yes, he did, but he never ruled out the possibility of GPT 4.5 getting released in the future. Further supporting the notion of a GPT 4.5 release is the inquiry into chat ChatGPT's current version. While some dismiss it as a collective illusion, the responses from ChatGPT indicate that the model in question is identified as GPT 4.5 Turbo, a variant optimized for more efficient and rapid interactions. This is not a mass hallucination scheme by any means, because different users are getting different responses. OpenAI is likely split testing it among the user base, allocating a percentage to the upgraded version to test it stealthily. This is consistent with OpenAI's previous practices, as they did a similar secret pre-release A-B testing with ChatGPT Pro, upgrading some users to GPT-4 without officially announcing it. There's also a tweet from Futurist Flower mentioning that GPT-4 Turbo runs on a very low temperature, making hallucinations highly reproducible. This explains that this stealth behavior is consistent with OpenAI's practices of secret pre-release A-B testing. The company might have allocated 25% to 50% of the users on GPT-4's plan to an upgraded version just to test it silently. What caught my attention was my personal testing of the model. I prompted directly, what's the name in the API, and discovered that the model serving this conversation is labeled GPT-40304, indicating it's GPT-4. However, it's crucial to note that when others pose the same question, they receive responses from GPT-4.5 Turbo. Why would it hallucinate GPT-4.5 Turbo specifically? If hallucination were to occur, GPT-5 would have been a better contender. After numerous users reported improvements, more and more leaks started to circulate. Despite OpenAI not officially confirming anything, asking ChatGPT about itself isn't conclusive proof of a software update. Compelling research papers from earlier this year demonstrate changes in the model's behavior, likely due to system constraints. GPT-4's demanding nature and capability strain computational resources, leading to limitations on user access. The paper titled, How is ChatGPT's Behavior Changing Over Time? Stanford evaluated GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 in March and June 2023 on various tasks, revealing significant variations in performance and behavior. For instance, GPT-4's proficiency in identifying prime versus composite numbers declined between March and June 2023. The idea of limiting access is supported by the necessity to manage the high cost of running advanced models like GPT-4. 
The release of Gemini and Alpha Code 2 faced challenges due to the model's demanding nature. Anonymized graphs illustrate the varying performance of GPT-4 over time. The observed decline in its initial brilliance could be attributed to a strategic decision to balance resource allocation and business sustainability. I'm sharing this research paper with you to highlight a significant observation. If OpenAI was able to stealthily update GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 without an official announcement, it suggests the possibility of a similar occurrence with GPT-4. 4.5. The data from March 2023 to June 2023, particularly in GPT-4, reveals a notable disparity in its capabilities during that period. This establishes that OpenAI has the capability to implement such updates, as evidenced by the substantial shift in performance from 97% to 23.4%. It's essential to note that this information is not based on mere speculation but is derived from thoroughly conducted research, which includes interviews and assessments of the model's capabilities. The drastic change in performance reported globally strongly indicates a significant modification rather than a minor adjustment in the services provided by the model. I still stand by my claim that the screenshot is fake because OpenAI never disclosed any involvement in 3D-related projects. While they have acknowledged work on vision and video, the absence of any official mention of 3D raises doubts. I believe that OpenAI may have opted not to release GPT-4.5, primarily to prioritize advancements in super-alignment. Additionally, if consistent accuracy in predictions by leakers such as Futurist Flower and Jimmy Apples is confirmed, it could grant them greater credibility and influence, potentially shifting people's attention from OpenAI to these leakers. Still, I believe that declaring these leaks are genuine offers no advantage, as it would only amplify the attention given to the leakers. OpenAI likely prefers maintaining a certain level of ambiguity. The absence of any mention of a GPT-4.5 release in system messages raises questions about its existence. Unlike GPT-4, which required explicit identification during release, a new reinforcement learning with a human feedback approach might embed GPT-4.5's identity, eliminating the need for manual identification. With all that aside, I think all of us agree that OpenAI will release GPT-4.5 officially at some point in time. Right now, I believe is the right time to discuss what we should expect from it. GPT-4.5 is anticipated to surpass GPT-4 in reasoning and problem-solving capabilities due to improved algorithms and a more extensive training dataset. This advancement holds promise for breakthroughs in natural language processing and machine learning. Additionally, GPT-4.5 is expected to exhibit enhanced creativity by generating more original and fluent text formats, including poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, emails, and letters. This versatility could find applications in the arts, entertainment, and education sectors. The new model is projected to demonstrate a better understanding of factual language, improving knowledge retrieval accuracy, and making it valuable for research, education, and journalism. GPT-4.5 is also poised to achieve a deeper grasp of context and nuance in human language, leading to more natural and engaging conversations with potential implications for chatbots, virtual assistants, and other human-computer interaction technologies. GPT-4.5 is also expected to excel in language translation, breaking down barriers between cultures by providing more accurate and fluent translations. It may contribute to advancements in specific areas such as code generation, question answering, and summarization, impacting various industries. Another notable feature is the reduced susceptibility to biases and misinformation, addressing an important concern in AI development. Not only that, GPT-4.5's ability to adapt to new tasks and learn from experience is anticipated to be improved, enhancing its versatility and overall effectiveness. The model is also expected to boast a more efficient and resource-saving architecture, leading to faster training and inference times, thus making it more accessible and scalable. Subscribe to Innovella for more blues from the world of AI. In one of my earlier videos, I discussed how GPT-5 might be a true horror story. Click now and I will catch you there in a second.